I have to caution you. When you train knife defense, the important thing is to you get a foam knife or a practice, you know, like a plastic knife, something that won't really cut or gouge you. And spar, spar empty hand against the knife. But make sure that when you're practicing, that your partner does not aim in front of you. This is a very common tendency and it doesn't help you. It actually is detrimental uh, in your training because it gets you to, uh, to do things in a different way. For example, as he's attacking, if he's aiming in front of me, I'll have this tendency to reach for it, which you wouldn't want to do. If it's going to miss you anyway, let it go by. Only deal with the incoming attacks that are going to actually reach you. Okay, so if he's attacking me, he's having it in front of me, he thinks he's doing me a favor because he's my friend, but he's actually not doing me a favor. He's getting me to reach out and do artificial things with my defense. And they're just going to get me cut and leaves my torso open. It's better if you stay in here, you stay on the move. Now you can also choose between open hand and even closed fist if he's attacking. You know, I can, I can just pair with a closed fist as well. But what you're looking for, like I said, is, and this is a broader look at what uh, empty hand against the knife is, you got to get your hands on something. Maybe, like in this case, it would be great to have a bunch of uh, 5, 10, 20 pound dumbbells. Um, you know, thick padded shields. You can, but in reality, you might have something like chairs in the room. You can pick up chairs, something you can pick up that, will, that you can use to keep them at a greater distance. You know, or if you happen to have a, uh, you know, a briefcase or a gym bag in your hand, that ends up being your shield. That ends up being something inanimate that is in, not a part of your body that you can put in the way of it in order to angle out, find, find a path to the door, whatever it is you've got to do to, uh, to survive. But the important thing, like I said, is not to, not to have a dueling mindset as well, not to just stand here and not to think, not to tune out the rest of your environment and just keep parrying and standing still or reaching for attacks that aren't really reaching you because that's just not going to help you. It's not realistic enough.